On October the 8th of 1871, a significant area of Chicago caught fire. Unlike the Great Fire of London, this wasn't a baking accident. This fire started when Miss O'Leary's cow kicked over a lantern. The Chicago Tribune thought this was an excellent story. As it happens, they had no reason to suppose it was true, but they printed it anyway. Unfortunately, the media's creativity is not always so harmless. Please raise your hand if you've heard about the Ebola crisis. Please raise your hand if you read about the Fukushima nuclear disaster. Please raise your hand if you heard about the MMR vaccine scandal. These stories, which so many of us have heard of, are all based on something that actually happened. By choosing what to leave out and what to emphasize, the media has painted them as terrifying. Fear is good for selling papers, but not so good for making rational decisions, and each of these stories has done significant damage in its own way. Not that the media is a bad thing. The media is entertaining and very important for the process of democracy, but it's got too much artistic license to give clear facts. This is not an unfamiliar problem, though, so I won't elaborate on it. Instead, I'd like to propose a solution. Please raise your hand if you use Wikipedia. Well, apparently you're in good company. When I first looked at this problem, I drew a blank. Everything I could think of was too technical or too impractical. So I asked my professors and my friends for advice. What would they do to learn something about a subject that they knew nothing about? What information would they trust? They gave a variety of replies, but one that stood out for its simplicity was Wikipedia. I was surprised. I'd always thought Wikipedia was unreliable because anybody can edit it. So I did some research. There's something delightfully convoluted about Googling how reliable is Wikipedia, only to find the first result is a Wikipedia article <laughs> titled Reliability of Wikipedia. Fortunately, there are lots of independent studies too. I'm going to talk about three of the studies that I found, but as you may have gathered, I think skepticism is an admirable quality. In fact, I will have great admiration for you if you don't believe a word I say. So please feel free to ask me for citations afterwards. Studies done on the humanity articles in Wikipedia give mixed results. Wikipedia is mostly accurate, but it often misses major points. Wikipedia's science articles are significantly better. The journal Nature looked closely at 42 articles in Wikipedia and Encyclopedia Britannica. It found four major mistakes in Wikipedia and three major mistakes in Encyclopedia Britannica. So Wikipedia is comparable to professionally written encyclopedias. But the most dramatic study was done on pharmacology articles. It found that they were 99.7% accurate. 99.7%? That's amazing. It's incredible. And it also explains why scientists are comfortable trusting Wikipedia for a quick understanding of a new topic. But how does this happen? Talk pages. If you look at a Wikipedia article, there are two tabs in the top left, article and talk. Talk is where the editors go to discuss the article. Talk is where people try to prove that what they want to add is correct. And talk is where debates happen. This process has been really good for improving accuracy. And it will help you spot controversy. If you look something up on Wikipedia and you think it might be contentious, check the talk page and you'll see what both sides of the debate are saying. Talk pages can be a little odd, though. On one talk page, there's a 24,679-word debate on whether vampires are real. <laughs> so do check the talk pages, because they can be useful. But bear in mind that you're on the internet in all of its glory. In conclusion, in order to make rational decisions, we need a practical and reliable source of information. I'm sure there are many solutions to this problem, but Wikipedia is a good candidate. It's very practical. For science, it's very reliable. And due to its transparency and democracy of knowledge, it presents many points of view. 
So, when you need to see past a colourful media story, Wikipedia is an excellent solution. Thank you.